how we study application of differential equation assuming that the resistance to movement of a sheaf assuming that the resistance to movement of a sheaf resistance to movement of a sheep through water in the form of in the form of a square plus b square v square where v is a velocity and a and b are constants write down the differential equation for retardation of the shift moving with the engine stop write down the differential equation for retardation of the shift moving with the engine stop prove that the time in which the speed falls to one half its
वन हाफ ऑफ इट्स ओरिजिनल वैल्यू यू इज गिवन बाय स्पीड फॉल्स टू वन हाफ ऑफ इट्स ओरिजिनल वैल्यू यू इज गिवन बाय W is a weight of the ship. W upon A B G tan inverse A B U divided by two A square plus B square U square, where W is a weight of the ship. now to find out the solution we know that by newton's second law of motion force is equal to mass into acceleration and here the force is resistance to movement of a ship through the water in the form of a square plus b square into v square as it is a resistance we have to consider the minus sign so f is equal to m dv upon dt that is equal to minus in bracket a square plus b square into v square we know that weight is equal to mass into gravity therefore mass is equal to weight upon gravity substituting this value into above we get weight upon gravity into dv upon dt is equal to minus a in bracket a square plus b square v square to find solution of this differential equation we first of all separate out the variable here we are applying variable separable method separating terms containing v and t
integrating both side we get w upon g integration from u to u by 2 because in the question itself we want to find out time in which the speed falls to one half of its original value u so that's why we consider the limit u to u by 2 and timing from 0 to t To apply the integration of dx upon a square plus a square dividing or taking b square common from the denominator from first integration we get b square outside the integration and a square upon b square plus v square in the denominator applying the formula of integration of dx upon a square plus x square is equal to 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a limits are u to u by 2 integration of dt is t and limit is from 0 to t therefore we get only minus t multiplying to both side by minus we get t is equal to minus w upon g b square b by a tan inverse b v upon a limit is from u to u by 2 taking b by a outside because here the variable is v b by a is constant Substituting the limit u by 2 and u, we get minus w upon g a b tan inverse b u upon 2 a minus tan inverse b u upon a. multiplying by minus sign inside two terms get change by tan inverse b u upon a minus tan inverse b u upon 2 a now we want to apply the formula tan inverse a minus tan inverse b is equal to tan inverse
was a minus b upon 1 plus a b so we get Just to simplify the numerator and denominator, making the denominator same in a numerator and a denominator of the denominator, we get W upon ABG tan inverse 2BU minus BU upon 2A divided by 1 plus b square u square upon 2a square After simplification, we get W upon ABG tan inverse BU upon 2A divided by 2A square plus B square U square upon 2A square. Just for simplification, we multiply numerator by reciprocal of the denominator. Thank you.